advanced sensors, the High Technic IR Seeker, and the IR Beacon. First, make sure that you have your robot updated in the schematic editor. You can even click on the sensor and test it out. Right now I'm moving the IR beacon around and you can see that the values are changing for the sensor. All right, now let's write our program. We're gonna need a while loop because we wanna keep checking over and over for readings from the IR seeker. So grab an IR seeker from the additional sensors and motors and high technic sensors palettes. You want to use the read sensor block. It's polymorphic, so from the pull down menu, make sure you choose read IR seeker. I'm using the version 2. Make sure you bring up the context help by pressing Control H or Command Shift H. The context help will tell you about the sensor. Okay, create a constant and give the port information to the sensor. All right, if you read the context help, you'll know that when the IR beacon is directly in front of the sensor, the sensor will return direction number or value equal to five. So if it's equal to five, we will want to stop the loop and stop our motors because we will have found the IR beacon. Wire the result of the equal sign to the stop sign. So if it's true, it'll stop. If it's not true, we will keep moving through the loop. If it's not equal, we're going to need to turn and I need to figure out which way to turn. So I'm going to do numbers less than five will turn one way and numbers greater than five will turn the other way. To handle these two different options, we're going to need a case statement. So go into the structures and then drag a case statement block into our block diagram. While we're at it, why don't we grab the blocks to control the motors and to turn the motors off. Create a constant for the motors so we can tell it which motors to move. Make sure to also wire the brakes to that motor information as well. We also need to give the power information to the motors. This is how we're going to make it turn. So take the result of the less than test, pass it to the case statement. If it's less than, I want my robot to turn left. Create a constant for the power. I like to have my robot drive slow when I'm trying to read sensors, so I'm going to only have it have a power of 20. So I'm going to give 20 through the case statement to the first motor, the right wheel. To make it turn, I need to have the left wheel turn in the opposite direction, so I'm going to use a block that will multiply the power times negative 1 so that that motor will go in the opposite direction. Wire that through the case statement to the other motor. Now, if I want it to turn the opposite way when it's needing to turn right, I will give the motors the opposite numbers. All right, let's test it out. You can see it turned to the right to find the IR beacon. And this one's practically behind it, it still turns and is able to stop with the beacon in front. 